Hello, boys and ghouls. It's your favorite hearty host of horror, the horror heathen, the horror heathen YouTube channel, and the South Jersey Horror Podcast. Tonight, I have a very special and honored guest, Amy Donald, who you all know as Megan, and well, I say the menacing Megan and the movie Megan. <laughs> and she is such a fantastic person. And I am so happy and super honored that you're here tonight talking with me about your role as Megan. So just a quick bio on you and your past achievements, which are very impressive, by the way. And thank you. You, you you're you fantastic. Uh, it seems that the, when you were nine years old, you were selected as a part of Team New Zealand at the Dance World Cup in Portugal. Um, you were the first ever performer from New Zealand to win a medal after receiving a silver medal for jazz and bronze. For a contemporary dance, congratulations! That's a huge achievement. Thank you. Uh, you are an avid dancer, uh, based out in Auckland. You specialize in jazz, ballet, tap dance, contemporary dance, musical theater, hip hop, and er is there something you cannot do? Seriously, because <laughs> <laughs> is you like wearing all these hats? It's like you do all this stuff, and. <laughs> Additionally, you have played four hybrid characters over two seasons of Sweet Tooth. Yeah. In season one, you played a meerkat, a duck, and a minor character of Junior the Owl. In season two, you appeared regularly in the role of Maya the Monkey. That sound, I'm, I'm fascinated by what, the, what those roles are about. I'm, I'm curious because I, I, I'm, I'm guessing this is, this is for a children's show. It is, yeah. Um, Sweet Tooth is, is, I mean, it's kind of a children's show, but it's for everyone, which is nice. Um, it's it's quite funny because it's about this pandemic that's been going around, and they can't tell which came first, the hybrids or the pandemic. So, yeah. <laughs> it sounds great. I mean, I should probably introduce my kids to your show. I think they'll love it. <laughs> so... So the movie Megan is a big smash in the office, but in the box office right now, still number one after two weeks later, and you just pat yourself on the back because that you did phenomenal in that role. You did great, you. and I was very impressed. I mean, it takes a lot to impress me, and I was very impressed by the movie. So, because now I'm scared of you. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, anyway, so for the role of Megan, did you have to audition for it, or were you were you selected personally by someone? Yes, I had to audition for Megan, but the fun thing was is that it was a really short audition process. It only took a week. Um, usually auditions take much, much longer than a week. So we did, the first audition was a self-tape, and then the second audition I met Gerard and that was a really fun experience because he, we came out of the audition and then he was just like, can I please give you a hug? And I was like, okay. Yeah. So yeah, that's, and then a couple of days later we found out that I got the role, which was really, really exciting. <laughs> that sounds like a great story to still congratulations. <laughs> I, I can't, I'm, I'm, I'm still in shock and awe how you were chosen for this great role. Jason Blum was like, <laughs> I want her to be Megan. So that just, again, pat yourself on the back because that is a fantastic achievement. <laughs> so did you actually read the script for the role? I did, yes. What, what were your thoughts about the movie? Well, my mom, when we read it together, so my mom was like, okay, so there is going to be a little bit of um, gory bits in there. And so... Uh, I was really excited to see it. So when I first read it, I really just thought, "Wow, I love this." I fell in love with all of the all of the goriness about it. Like, I just straight away I thought, "Yeah, this is what I want to do." 
that's a, a good solid answer. I mean, if you knew right away, then you knew that you were the you were the one for the role. I mean, it's it looked like it was fate. It was meant to be. So, yeah. <laughs> were there any particular um, ways you had to prepare yourself for this role? What you had to do for uh, it? Well, we did have to do a lot of stunt rehearsals because I did my own stunts in the movie. So we had to do a lot of stunt rehearsals to make sure I was safe. But my, I had to have some movement lessons with um, my movement coaches, Luke Hawker and Jed Brophy. They were so amazing. They helped me become more of the robot. They taught me how to become a robot because Luke Hawker, we watched his movie, I Am Mother. And so he, he taught us how to walk like a robot, which was so amazing. That's great. So you pretty you probably a lot better than I am about walking robots. I can't do that. I'm sorry, I'm not that talented. <laughs> <laughs> so when you were um doing the movie, were there any scenes that were that were too hard for you to do, too difficult? No, I don't think so. Um the really only the challenge was is wearing the mask because I had limited eye vision, so I couldn't really see too far. But when I was in it for too long, the eyes would start to fog up. So we had a 30 minute and 30 minute time and timer in the mask. So after the 30 minutes, we'd take it off and just wipe out the eyes so then I could see again. So that was the biggest challenge. <laughs> so you're like, time out, time out. I need to wipe my eyes off real quick. <laughs> so I bet it, it was frustrating, but fun at the same time. I mean, I think I would get for he wipe my eyes everywhere. I'm like, okay, I gotta I gotta find another way to stop fogging these lenses up because this is driving me crazy. <laughs> so were there any parts in the movie, any scenes that you were really excited to do? Yes. I was I was really excited to do the forest scene because when we just read it, it seems so cool because she does in the script it was like, like she does a cobra rise and then chases him on all fours like that i was so excited to do that and, and that was actually the very first scene that we filmed yeah really <laughs> yeah and that part creeped me out so much <laughs> <laughs> you got down and started running like that like, I was like oh hell no i'm done <laughs> <laughs> like i had to pause it walk away from people to come back and like okay let me let me figure this out. She chases this kid down after ripping his ear off. I mean, come on. <laughs> I'm like, this is one girl you do not want to make mad. Seriously, because <laughs> bad things are gonna happen. <laughs> so it, it's just, but still, it, it was God. I, I I'm still. I had to watch to go back and watch the movie again twice in the theater. Oh, just to awesome. get a just just a good general concept <laughs> of like. What is going on here? <laughs> but still, um, are you familiar with the Chucky doll, the Chucky series at all? I am, yes. Who do you think would win the fight, Chucky or Megan? Well, that's a hard one. I, I think that would be a really good fight, but I do think Megan would win <laughs> because I think she's she's. I, I think she's a lot more powerful because she is a robot, but Chucky is very amazing on his own. So yeah, <laughs> I, I think Megan would definitely overpower Chucky because she's taller, and like you said, she's a robot, and she has that crazy strength going on. <laughs> so it's just yeah. Oh my god, I'm still baffled by it. I mean, I'm I'm struck by it still. So don't mind me because. This is how I, I not only react to actors and actresses who do so well in the movies. It's just a natural reaction for me. So, have you watched the movie yet? I have, yes. I've seen it five times now. Wow. <laughs> so, how do you feel about it? I mean, do you think you did great? Or... I really thought it was amazing. I really love the finished products because everything just comes together so perfectly. And I love how they paired Megan with um, the voice actor, um, Jenna Davis. I think she was really good in the voice. So, yeah. Oh. Are there um, any behind the scenes secrets you can tell us about, or is it all hush hush? <laughs> um, there 
there's not really behind the scenes secrets, but um, there is a couple of funny stories. I can tell you one of them. But okay. Me and Violet, I love Violet McGross so much. She's amazing. She's one of my best friends. And uh, um, Offset, because there is a robot of Megan, and the Moreau team created her, and she's amazing. But me and um, Violet, we'd go off set together and we would have staring contests with the robot. But <laughs> 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 we always seem to win. So, yeah. <laughs> I, think I, I think I saw one of those videos where you and her had a staring contest with Megan. Yeah. yeah. That was fun. <laughs> wow. So, um, it's, it's been publicly known that Jason Blum does want to make a sequel. He He's already stated it. Are you going to be in the sequel? Well, I, I, we don't know yet. We haven't heard much about it, but I'm hoping, I really hope that there will be a sequel. Yeah. Me too, really because be. the movie was great. I mean, it's, I, I've been talking about it the past four days <laughs> to all my friends on Facebook and social media. And the more the more I got closer to this interview, the more excited I, I was getting. And I was like, this is just like the perfect moment. So at this moment, I, I firmly believe that you have developed Megan to be a legend in the horror genre. Oh, and <laughs> and very convincing for horror movies to come. I, I can see a lot of movies being developed from Megan, been stemming from Megan and becoming bigger movies and make you more of a legendary icon in the horror genre. I mean, because it, you are definitely going to be the new face of horror. I'm telling you, because <laughs> it's like, I firmly believe that. So, um, you have an upcoming movie called the tank. It's, it's a horror slash thriller. Is there anything you can tell the audience about that movie? Or is that still under wraps? I can't say anything about that one. No. Okay, I totally understand. Um, I totally get it. Is there anything else that you want to say about the movie Megan? Um, what you can tell the audience. Um, I would just like to say, if you haven't seen the movie, please go watch it. It's really fun. It's exciting. It's different, and it's so much fun. It was so much fun working on it, which I think it shows in the movie because it's ten times. Um, better because you can tell that everyone was having such a good time on set. Yeah. <laughs> well, it definitely has that creepy factor to it, and I'm never buying a doll again. Just saying. <laughs> 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 Especially one that talks and moves like Megan. Nope, not happening. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's like all the porcelain dolls that my wife is are down in the basement. In the crawl space, and that's where they can stay. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have one teeny tiny favor to ask you: Is there any way you can do real quickly do the famous Megan dance for your, for the audience? I can. Hold on. I'll just stand up real quick. <laughs> I'll just stand that around. Okay. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. That is fantastic. Oh my gosh, she did a flip too. Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was fantastic. <laughs> that was great. So I don't want to take up too much of your time, Sunday. It's a, it's your holiday season, and I, I I want you to spend time with your family, and enjoy that time as much as you can. Thank you. And thank you so much for this interview. It's been a pleasure and an honor. And at any time, if you're, where's your mother? I need to I need to thank your mom real quick. I'm here. <laughs> thank you so much for setting this interview. I really do appreciate it. Oh, that's good. I'm um, sorry we were a bit late getting back to returning, to replying to you because it's just been a little bit busy since we got back in New Zealand. And um, But that was a really fun interview. I think Amy really enjoyed it. Yeah. If you ever have a chance, look up the actor Milo Cawthorn. He lives in Auckland. 
So okay. he's a really cool guy. He filmed his movie in West Auckland called Deathgasm. So okay, yeah, really cool individual, and I'm sure he can tell you all about his stuff if you've had a chance to look him up. So, but other than, that, other than that, thank you so much. Enjoy your evenings and your rest of your holiday, and you too. <laughs> and take care. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. It was so a much. pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> Isn't it pure?